There was just one tiny problem. Nobody had a clue how heavy this thing was. Early guesses were, let's say, wildly optimistic. But as experiment after experiment at accelerators around the world, including the powerhouse at CERN, came up empty, physicists had a dawning horror. They were dealing with a monster. The top quark wasn't just heavy. It was absurdly, titanically massive. This is where the expensive part of our story clicks in. Einstein's famous E equals MC squared is a two-way street. You can get a lot of energy from a little bit of mass, but you can also make a little bit of mass if you can generate a colossal amount of energy. To create a particle as heavy as the top quark, you needed to smash things together with more force than ever before. That meant building the most powerful particle accelerator on Earth. The stage for the final act moved to a sprawling lab outside Chicago, Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, or Fermilab. There, they built the Tevatron, a four-mile underground ring where protons and their antimatter twins, antiprotons, would be whipped up to 99.9999% of the speed of light before being smashed together head-on. It was a machine built for one main reason, to finally have enough raw power to create a top quark.